All right, Shalom. First off, we want to start by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kodash, Double Honor, so our Apostle Elders, a great millstone. And Shalom to you, uh, to the elect out there, our right? fellow laborers in um, uh, this uh, this word, man. You know, fellow uh, fellow brothers, all right, this labor in sincerity and truth, man. And giving you all in this thing, all right. Shalom, what? Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kodash, Rakatama to you, brothers, man. <laughs> So we pretty much want to uh, do a lesson based on the um, the theme of today, okay? The pagan day of today, you know, the hella day of today, which uh, is uh, Mother's Day, okay? You know, and um, just pretty much going to condemn it, all right? You know, because um, this society clearly puts the, um, has a queen of heaven worship spirit on it, a queen of heaven spirit on it, all right? The woman, the woman uh, has an opinion, you know, she, she, she has equality, you know, she, she has power, all these things. And that's, that's thanks to Esau, all right, because he, ha he has uh, power over the earth. It tells you that, Job 9 and 24. So with that wicked ass, uh, uh, with that, with that, um, with the wicked being in power, his wicked ass Esau, he uses the, his, his power to give power unto uh, to these wicked ass women, mm -hmm. you know. Um, since I brought you, when you want to say something, oh, you got it. since I brought that out, I'm gonna bring this. I'm gonna touch. Uh, I'm gonna bring this scripture out real fast, since I referred to that. All right, this is yeah over here. This is Jeremiah 31 and 22. How long wilt thou go about, O thou back, uh, backsliding daughter? For the Lord have created a new thing in the earth. Mm -hmm. A woman shall compass a man. And that's exactly what, what basically has happened. Mm -hmm. and, and the reason that this has happened is all go, the root of the issue goes back to Esau. He, he set it up so that the woman can be over the man for a reason to, to uh, make make things out of order in society. Yeah. Because if the woman is on, over a man, it's all bad, basically. A woman doesn't, she doesn't have any type of discernment or any type of judgment. They just—they're not meant to be lead, be leaders. But yeah. Esau likes likes them leading because it's, it's nothing but just confusion. Yep, and that's what he's all about. That's right. They're they're not meant to to lead. They're meant to be led, bro. Mm -hmm. by, oh no, you got it. No, I was gonna say by the man. Yeah. You got it, bro. They they the weaker vessel. Mm -hmm. So why would the weaker vessel be be a leader? That doesn't make any sense. And the Esau know that because because what. He that same serpent that went back to the gar uh, that was back in the garden, beguiling and see, uh, beguile and Eve. All right, so he knows that the woman is a reprobate, and, and what he he utilizes that for his own um to uh, uh, uh for his own uh, uh purposes. Okay, causing confusion. Mm -hmm. All right, disorder within the household, breaking up the family structure. You know. Mm -hmm. That's why he got this the whole day set up for them. Yep. Specifically. Because, yeah, this is, they got, uh, just like Mother's Day, they got Father's Day and all that. But who really celebrates that, though? Like, nobody. Well, well, the mothers, <laughs> the so-called single mothers, they celebrate both of the days. I'm your mama and your father. Mm -hmm. Oh, your dad, your dad, he just a sperm donor. He a deadbeat. This, that, and the third, man, not even understanding that the curse, the curse is in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, Clearly, uh, uh, um, uh, um, states out how the the family structure would be broken up, man. How the father would be taken out of the house, all right. And 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 this is um, this is a way that you see it playing out today, you know. Um, because originally, hey man, the woman, the woman was under the man. Okay, let's let's pull that out. This is um. The order of things, man. This is uh First Corinthians eleven and eight. For the woman is not a slakia. This is First Corinthians eleven and eight. For the man is not of the woman. And the Apostle Bar brings that out a lot. What is the word? What is the definition of woman? A female servant. In which these females are not doing. They're not serving. They're serving Esau. All right. They're serving their own their own belly, so to speak. What they want to do. All right. Being so called independent, oh, I'm, uh, I got I, I provide for myself. I want to be single. I don't want to have a child yet. I want to wait till I'm forty or fifty, and 
my womb is completely through. My mileage is all ran up. Mm-hmm. You know? I don't got to listen to you. You ain't my daddy. And, you know, it's all this BS, man. You're not paying my bills. Yeah. All the, all the typical, you know, dumb, dumb arguments that a female will have. Mm-hmm. That's right. Hey, man. It says, um, so really, that's why we, the scriptures say a shameless woman shall be ca- counted as a dog. We yeah. say, we call you bitches, you sluts, whores, all right? Because that's what you even, are. Because you're not a woman. A woman is a servant. Yep. You don't, you're not trying to, they don't want to serve. They don't want to be in order, basically, because the order is set up for a woman supposed to serve her man. Mm-hmm. That's like, like it says in Genesis, your yeah, desires. Bring, yeah, I was going to bring that out next. That's oh, yeah, I yeah, yeah, bring that out. Cause we going to put that after this. Yep. This how it's, that's how it's supposed to go. And you bitches are full of shit. You claim yourselves to be a God fearing woman. All right. What I believe a, a Proverbs 31, a, a virtuous woman. Well, the Lord, the Lord already told you what to do. Serve bring your man. Out, bring out the scripture in Genesis to them. They're going to be like, oh, no, this, that, my desire is for my man. But he got to do, you know, they're going to have that, that butt put in there. Yeah, the I, don't have a, I don't have a husband. I don't have, you got to see no rings on this finger. Yeah. You got many husbands, man. Like the Lord told that damn, uh, that Kushite bitch, man. In, All right. In this world, a husband is a, so, he's in this world, the ideal husband, so-called, is supposed to serve the woman. A cuckold. Basically be, a, yeah, a cuck. Yep. Worship your woman, basically. Because mm-hmm. that's what the, the uh, so-called ideal image of a real husband or a real man would be in this, uh, this society. Like a husband, he's somebody who serves his, his wife. Yep. Do what she want, cater to her. But she ain't doing nothing for you. You're going out your way far and beyond. You, you're you doing everything you do for to, just for her. You're going to work. You're working, busting your ass with all these hours. It tells you that an apocrypher. Yeah. A man... Uh, Bring it, bring, bring it for, everything. Yeah, her. you bringing everything to the to this bitch. You bringing offers and all, cause that queen of heaven worship, uh, uh, queen of heaven spirit is not nothing new under the sun. Our people uh, back in the time of Jeremiah, they were making uh, cakes. They was worshiping the queen of, queen of heaven. All right, in the time of of Acts, in which we are in the time of Acts again, all right in Ephesus, man, they was worshiping uh, Diana. All right, Queen Diana, they was making shrines, idols. Okay, so that queen of heaven uh, spirit is not nothing new. You know, that, that wicked demon was always around, man. Okay, along with you simp ass niggas. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 8. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Yep, the woman's of the man. Mm-hmm. We were, the man was created first, man. Then the woman, huh? That's right. The Lord is only dealing with men. He's not doing with woman. Yeah, and, and the Lord created the woman with the man in mind to, to be a help. Her. Exactly. He, he created her having her mentality that you're going to be a, a helpmate. You mm-hmm. supposed to, you know, these females out here these days, they're not trying to help you do anything, but help you. Help you catch get, hell. Yeah, help you get destroyed. <laughs> yeah. Further, further bring you down into hell. Mm-hmm. Destroy you even more. And then like, uh, like Jake was talking about a little bit after camp. You got females talking about, uh, you know, like uh, black bitches mainly talking about the uh, Childish Gambino because he's dealing with a white woman. Like he, these, these um, high level so called celebrities that that actually like make it and stuff. A lot of them they don't they know better than dealing with a black bitch because you're gonna you you're gonna catch hell dealing with her. Yep. The scriptures tell you about that, man. Hey, we at Jake. These niggas. Uh, these niggas uh, hate uh, hate knowledge and instruction, so they find out themselves by catching so much hell from the black bitch, and then they finally reach a conclusion like, you know what, this bitch is the devil, man. Mm-hmm. I gotta I gotta deal with a, a Edomite bitch, you know, an Ammonite, you know, a heathen, basically catching less hell, you know. Uh, it says, for the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman. Yeah, the man wasn't created to serve you. Straight up. Yet that's how it's turning out in this society now. Like mm-hmm. the other scripture you brought out, the Lord brought a new thing to come to pass. Now it seems you would think that the man was created from the, for the woman the way that dudes act now in these these days. They want everything is about chasing after a female, doing everything just to get her attention. Yep. Give doing the most. Pleasing her. Pleasing her. Yeah. yeah. Keeping her happy. Happy wife, happy life. It's not even about you being happy no more. It's about making her happy. Yep. You like that is backwards. That's uh, backwards, man. It says neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. Yeah, she was supposed to be. She was created for us, man. 
supposed to be serving us. Like I was, we um, like we was gonna go to an Genesis. Well, yeah. He, but they, she, they was created for us, man. Mm-hmm. We weren't created for them. We the, we the we the breadwinners. We working hard. We We're out here prize. handling everything. We're the prize. Yeah. So why would we cater to you? You supposed to be catering to us. We're the rarity, man, because it's more women than uh than men on earth. All right. Isaiah four and one, seven seven women to one man. Okay. And, and yet, uh, uh, the men of the Lord, that's a real man. And the, and the Lord said he's going to make the elect man more precious than the fine gold of Ophir, man. All right? So we're we're a rarity, man. All these women there. You got all these single mothers. <laughs> all these, all these, all these single-ass bitches, man. They don't even got a man. All right? You know? And they're going to be, be, hey, this, we're coming at that time where they're going to be begging for her, man. A man of the Lord at that, Isaiah 4 and 1, like I referred unto, man. All that pride is gonna go out the window. Who the hell is you bitches fooling? You're miserable, okay? You know them fake ass smiles and act like you having the time of your life being single and miserable as shit. Alright? You know? But yeah, you can bring that out in uh Genesis. That was that was it on that one. It's Genesis 3 and 16. And to the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. Yeah, because uh, uh, Eve uh, was beguiled by the serpent, okay? You know, she was deceived, and she, and she in, in turn uh, uh, deceived uh, Adam, okay? She's the reason why we're in this predicament, man. And that's why her, the so-called black woman, and Esau, the so-called white man, okay, the devil... The black devil and the red devil, they all they both leak up. Okay, toughen the society to what? Further oppress our nation, the men of our of our, our tribes, man. You know, keep us in slavery. Really destroy us. You know? Tells you Micah the seventh chapter, man. She this bitch are is our, our enemy. Mm-hmm. She's no different than the so called white man. You know? Go ahead, Ox. So this is this is basically um this is basically uh the outcome of her listening to uh, to the serpent. Go ahead, Ot. In sorrow, th- in sorrow, thou shalt bring forth children. Yeah, them birth pains, man. <laughs> you want so that's why they, I, you came. Yeah, we we'll, we bring that out too. You know, oh, I I uh, I had to go through labor in this many hours to to get uh, uh, to birth you. Yeah. No, I don't. I I had to take you off the breast. The breast you 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 basically was too greedy or nibbling on. It's some bugged out shit. You Put mad. you on baby formula. You mad because you got to do what you got to do. You got to do your mother. Role. Yeah. Play your role. Just be, like you supposed to do that. You know that's what happens naturally. You want to be mad at us because that's you catching hell, a little bit of hell only when you give birth. Like that's the only time you you, you catching hell. That's why the scriptures say rise up you woman at ease. Because like besides those birth pains, you ain't catching no hell. Outside of having kids, man, these females just chilling big time. Big boy cooler. Yep. It's set up for you to just basically just get served in this society. So outside of giving giving birth, it's like what, what hell are you catching? Mm-hmm. What adversity are you going through? Nothing. Nothing. That's right. And you get government assistance for everything when you get a child. That's a that's a that's a uh, that's a lick for you bitches, man. You know, it's a to hell to hell with with you hoes, man. Yeah. Yeah. Continue. And, and, and sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, mm. and he shall rule over thee. That's right. He's your Lord. A Lord means a person that has dominion over you. Okay? So your man is your Lord, and you and as your as your as your Lord, you're supposed to say serve that man. Alright? You pleasing that man is 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 in turns you pleasing Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know? These females, they supposed to be our possession, like the scriptures say. Mm-hmm. If when you get a female, you get a possession. It ain't the other way around. You're like you're not a possession to a woman. No, nah, man, they they they're a possession to us. Cause we're the ones who who, uh, who like it says in um, Genesis three and sixteen, we supposed to have the rule over them, man. All right, the authority over a female, cause they don't have any understanding. They don't have any knowledge. The Lord isn't dealing dealing with women, as far as on a level as, as men. Because the men are one who 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 get set up to go out there and prophesy, go out there and go to war, go out there and handle business, man. The woman is just set up to be in the household, taking care of business in the house, man. 
raising up the children, all right, cleaning, cooking, all right, uh, making you clothes. She supposed to be a, a possession unto you, making you things. That, why do you think that um, when you, when you, uh, our custom is when you, you get you a wife, you're supposed to give a dowry to the, the father because she's, she's, she used to do all those things at the house for, with her, with her family, cleaning yeah. and cooking and doing all the, those things. Now you've been to have her doing that for you. So you, you just pay him for, for her. Yeah. Cause now she, you, he, he basically, that's it. That was his property. Cause she was do, taking care of things in the house, cleaning up, cooking, tending to the animals, gardening, doing all these different things that needed to get handled. And you're about to take that away from them. So you have to give them that money to take it away. Yeah. Scriptures tell you like, um, not quoting verbatim, basically like, he that giveth to him a wife, get a, get a uh, possession. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Yeah. Scriptures, man. Because that's what it is. A woman is nothing nothing uh, more or less than a, a possession. Okay? You know, she's not, she's not, she's not to be worshipped or praised. Okay? Put on a fucking pedestal. Yeah, she's not to be put over a man and. Straight up. And have, be able to, to call any type of shots. You're you're supposed to take orders, not give them out. Cause with Job thirty nine and seventeen, you lack understanding. Mm -hmm. So why would we? Why would you? Why would you follow somebody who doesn't have any type of understanding? And the Lord didn't impart to them any wisdom. Yeah, if you if the black woman is God and this and that, queens and all, this is BS, which you don't even know the meaning of queen. Queen means to be a prostitute, in which you know. You, you you all are queens. That's right. That's why that's why that vibration of being called a queen is so heavy, mm -hmm. because really you, you all of y'all are really queens. You're 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 harlots. You're sluts. They try to they try to change it into yeah. something good when it's really a negative term. Mm -hmm. You just so and you embrace it. Yep. It's just like you were saying. It's just, the reason that you do embrace it is because the real meaning behind it that you you're a whore. Yeah, it applies to you. It, exactly, it applies to you. You're you're proud you you're proud and um accepting that. Mm-hmm. So Jake, it, Jake. Uh you was holding it through? Uh no. Well yeah, I got this because uh these women like today, all right, they use this day to praise to praise mothers, all right. Give them give them gifts, all right. Basically worship them, dedicate the whole day to mama, you know. You know, Jake loves lovely mama, all right? Okay. That's why you always always see these mama boy ass niggas, man. Niggas rapping about their mama. You know how Jake is, man. But basically, uh, let's see what the Lord Yahweh Shai said regarding uh, uh, the woman, okay? The mothers, all right? This is St. Luke 11 and 27. And it came to pass as he spake these things, all right? He was, he was, uh, uh, he was prophesying, he was preaching, okay? A certain woman... Of the com company lifted up her voice and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bare thee in the paps which thou hast sucked. You know? She was like, basically, bless, yeah. bless is, your, is, your, is your mother, praising the woman, woman, praising the woman. A woman praising a woman. <laughs> Verse 28. Let's see what the Lord say about that. And he said, that's right. <laughs> you know? The Lord said, that's right, sister. All right, let's see. Verse 28. But he said, Yea, rather blessed are they that hear the word of the Heavenly Father and keep it. Yeah. You know? So he cut him. He, I mean, he cut her. He said, he said, Yea, rather blessed are they that hear the word of the Heavenly Father and keep it. Them that have understanding, you yeah. know, in which the woman don't have. Okay? And that, and that keep it, man. That keep these words. All right, which are which are going to be men, elect men at that. Yeah, how was I was out there for the elect? Okay, he had certain certain uh, followers that was uh, that were women. Uh, I, I forgot uh, Mary Mary Magdalene, I believe. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was certain women. Yet they were in order. Yeah, even even um the around the time of, of Paul, they had uh uh, uh wait what uh, uh, Pris uh Priscilla yeah, Aquila. Aquila and Priscilla. Yeah. Which is the uh, I believe the man and his wife, mm -hmm. and then he actually had uh, I believe Phoebe, who was actually was uh, a help as well, you know. So it was certain women. Ultimately, they wasn't getting praises. They was in order. They was in line. Okay, and they understood. Yeah, they played the, their role exactly. That's why you didn't hear any. It's like that's why they really didn't get mentioned too much because a woman doesn't really have no major parts to do. You just play your role. If you want to follow, you know, follow, follow. You can follow. 
but it's a certain way you do it. You don't be out there speaking like you got females want to make YouTube videos, do all this stuff, claiming they know the knowledge now. No, man, if you really know the knowledge, you know that you're not supposed to be teaching. I, the scriptures say I suffer not a woman to teach. Yep. So what are you even opening your mouth for? You're supposed to, you're supposed to be behind the scenes, all right? Not even letting your face be shown, if anything, barely. But if anything, comment on the video saying the water or something, something ba super basic, cut dry. Like, because you're supposed to be having you a man in the first place, you know? Yep, because a woman is going to be saved through the man, the elect man, and through childbearing. You know, you ain't, you're not about to get just saved off your own, off your own uh, 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 works, you know, just off of you. It don't, it don't work like that, man. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the Lord said, but yay, I mean, but uh, the Lord said, but he said, yay, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of the Most High and keep it, okay? Hear, meaning, meaning have those spiritual eyes and ears open to understand this, man. Because according to Isaiah 6 and 9, the Lord sent the angel uh, uh, upon two-thirds of Israel to blind them from, from uh, receiving his truth, man. The brother just referred to Job 39, 17. You women don't even have no understanding, man. So you don't, you don't even got a shot. Mm -hmm. You know? All right. But yeah, that, hey, man. Following that, I got another precept, okay? Uh, in Maccabees, cause even uh, this this um uh, the mother of these seven uh seven brothers, okay, they were getting tortured basically, um because they refused to eat swine's flesh, cause that was the uh the decree, all right, mm -hmm. you know, and they and they and they um they 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 man they they stayed they stayed true to the Lord, hey, they held what, their integrity, hey, what, just like the Lord said here, Saint Luke eleven and twenty eight. Yea, rather blessed are they that hear the word of the Most High and keep it. Mm -hmm. They knew that that was breaking the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. And, and they maintained that integrity, okay? Even even the mother, man. This is very honorable. Let's see what she said, man. Did she say, blessed, blessed is my womb, you know? Because I, I, I was the one who had to go through the labor. Yeah. Giving you birth, doing this and that for you. No, nah, man. She knew that was her role in general. Why should you get, why should you get praised for doing something that you're supposed to do? Exactly. Yep. And she knew the scriptures, man. Uh, this is uh Second Maccabees chapter seven. I'm uh um let me see where I want to start out. Well, I'll start at verse 20. It says, But the mother was marvelous above all and worthy of honorable memory. And that's why it was it this this account was written. Okay. For when she saw her seven sons slain within the space of one day, she bare it with a good courage because of the hope that she had in the Lord. Okay. Yea, she exhorted every one of them in her own language, filled with courageous spirits yeah the lord put a heavy spirit on her man mm -hmm. okay and she exhorted she she exhorted her sons man you know and stirring up her womanish thoughts with a manly stomach she said unto them you know uh i cannot tell how ye came into my womb for i neither gave you breath nor life neither was it i that formed the members of every one of you, but doubtless the creator of the world who formed the generation of man and found out the beginning of all things will also of his own mercy give you breath and life again as ye now regard not your own selves for his law's sake. Mm -hmm. See, she understood reincarnation, you know, and, 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 and um, and serving and keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah, she didn't take credit for for giving them birth, for saying like, "Oh, I carried you in my body, I gave you life," because that's what females say all the time. Yeah, like, no, nah, she know that the it, the credit goes to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakhodash, man. She said, "Well, I brought you in this world, I take you out." The Most High is the author of life and death, you know. Here, yeah, we we're supposed to honor our, our mothers and our fathers, and we do. Yeah, we we keep it in this proper perspective, man. You know, we're not going to bow down and worship and praise. We ain't celebrating no damn Mother's Day today. I can tell you that for a fact. Our mother know not to not to even hit us on the line or 
are, are expect a happy Mother's Day, you know? All right, and she understands that, okay? But yeah, uh, um, that's the point uh, I wanted to hit on here. So, so this 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 uh, courageous woman, man, of our nation, man, she, hey, the Lord put a heavy spirit on her, and and and, and she she and she kept her integrity, and she even built up her sons, man, with those with those words, you know. All right, and they, hey, man, they they endured. They endured the torture, and that's the spirit because brother's been going into it this week, man. The persecution is coming again, man. Mm -hmm. This time is coming all over again. All right. You think these women are gonna stand? Do you, you think they gonna they gonna protect you? They they can't even protect themselves, man. How many females are gonna be in that that spirit? Yeah, yeah. Because that that account was written to be an example mm -hmm. of what a real a real white righteous woman would be like. That's right. In, in, even in adversity, in a, situa a situation of adversity, she still knew that it's still hope in the Lord because we're going, we we're going to come back. Our, our, the only thing that's dying is that this body. Your spirit is not dying. Yep. And then it, we're going to get our payback. So if Esau do roll on us, grab us, torture us, we're going to do way worse, <clears throat> way worse to you. When we in the kingdom. What you do to us right now isn't going to be nothing compared to what we get to do to you. So it really just like the Lord say, this is a light affliction. It's going to be a light thing when we, when you look at it as a whole. If we if the brothers who do have to get tortured by Esau, because you're going to do way more to him. Yeah, and you coming right back. You coming in the chariots and the new bodies, man. So you're going to get your you're going to get your uh, revenge even beforehand, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's how that's how beautiful it is, man. And and and, and that's why it's important. To, to meditate upon these scriptures and, and let these these scripts uh, 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 marinate in your mind, man, in your spirit, you know, to, to uh, fully uh, trust in these words, man. Okay. Yeah, we can. Uh, Jake had anything else? I pretty much wind it down. That's the that's the that's the yeah. point, man. All right, to hell with the mothers there. Any other day here in Babylon, okay, that calls for for. A, a wicked ass so called celebration, man. Mm -hmm. Hey man, we celebrate when we see judgment go go down on you people and and, and um this society further uh uh crumble and get destroyed, man. Okay? We celebrate the high holy days of the Heavenly Father, and this is definitely not one of them. Okay? We gonna sell it's gonna be a new high holy day when this place when this bitch Babylon be destroyed, man. Yeah. The harlot, the whore, the woman. All right, cause this place has has nothing but a woman spirit uh, 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 circling it, man. You know. That's right. Hey, so so yeah, that's that's pretty much it, man. You know, to hell to hell with you, wicked ass so called women. All right. You know, cause you don't you don't you don't carry yourselves as women. All right. That's the last thing that you are. Mm hmm. You you fell far from that. That's right. Yeah, and, and death to, to any of you niggas <laughs> that worship the woman that celebrated this wicked ass day today, all right? You know, that put the that put the woman over Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Mm -hmm. death, death unto you niggas, man. You know? Hey, so with that, uh, hopefully we were edifying. Once again, we want to give pr all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rakakwadash, that one of our apostles and elders at, at Great Millstone. And you have a shot by a shimmer, a cockroach, a rocket dump to the elect out there. All right, shallow one. Shallow one.